10 Signs and Symptoms of Leukemia Leukemia is cancer of the blood cells. Blood cells and platelets are produced in the bone marrow. In leukemia, some new white blood cells, WBCs, fail to mature properly. These immature cells continue to reproduce at a rapid rate, crowding out healthy cells and producing a host of symptoms. Leukemia is the most common type of childhood cancer, affecting about 4,000 children a year in the United States. People often ignore the warning signs of leukemia, until the problem becomes severe. It is important to be aware of these signs as addressing the problem early can save you from future complications. If you have multiple signs and symptoms of this health problem, ask your doctor to check your health levels. Here are some warning signs that you may have a leukemia. 1. Abnormal bruising. While most people don't connect the two, bruising is a blood-related occurrence. Platelets, specifically, which are produced in the bone marrow along with white and red blood cells are mostly responsibly for the clotting of blood, which is what a bruise is, only under the skin. Have a low platelet count, or thrombocytopenia, is often the cause if you notice unexplained bruises or the cuts are not healing as quickly as they should. The connection between low platelets and leukemia goes right back to their source, and while one might not be indicative of the other, if you notice irregular bruising coupled with unexplained bleeding from the gums, in your stool or urine, or frequent nose bleeds, then we recommend you go see a healthcare professional immediately. 2. Fever and Chills Before we continue this video, do not forget to subscribe my channel to see other useful health videos. The symptom of fever and chills is a common one with most infections or diseases of the body. Fever comes on when the body is trying to fight infection, as warm environments tend to be less hospitable for infection to grow. Chills come on as the body's way of trying to stay warm when it is cold, through the contraction and relaxation of muscles. Knowing that these two symptoms are often associated with other ailments poses problems for many in diagnosing as it often manifests as flu-like symptoms. If these symptoms persist, for a week or two, then it is advisable to make an appointment with your physician. 3. Night Sweats Much like lymphoma and other types of cancers, leukemia sufferers have an incredibly difficult time regulating body temperature. This often results in a back and forth between fever and cold chills and excessive sweating, which usually presents itself at its worst during the night. While some might be thinking, how am I supposed to tell what I do when I sleep? The signs are all too apparent in the morning, for a person who suffers from night sweats will find their clothes and bed linens often saturated with sweat. This symptom, like many others on this list might not be a cause for concern, in and of itself, but rather should be viewed in on a whole, coupled with other one to give you a better idea as to what's going on. It is also important to remember that self-diagnosis does little good, and if you feel there is an issue for concern, please see your doctor. 4. Pitachi. Petechia are when tiny red dots appear on thin skin when capillaries, the smallest of the blood vessels, burst or bleed out. The reasons for this are multiple, but usually, it occurs due to excessive straining or pressure. Most people have experienced this symptom before, as it can often result from excessive crying or uncontrollable vomiting. Much like the previous point, this symptom is often a sign of thrombocytopenia, or low platelets count, which might be the sign of an underlying blood disorder, such as leukemia. 5. Abdominal Discomfort The human body in many cases is the sum of all its parts. When one part is hurt, injured or infected, it can often have an impact on other, seemingly unconnected parts of the body. Leukemia and the spleen is an example of such an occurrence. The lymphatic system is a network of vessels, tissues and organs through which the body rids itself of waste and toxins, often from the blood. Knowing as we do that leukemia is a blood disorder, it makes sense that the system would be affected. In many cases of leukemia, the spleen can become swollen and distended causing discomfort in the abdomen as the organ presses on surround organs such as the stomach. This can also be a cause of appetite loss as well. 
6. Weight loss. Similar to most other types of cancer, leukemia is characterized by loss of appetite and excessive weight loss. While this symptom isn't necessarily a direct cause of the cancer, or in this case leukemia, it is most often thought of as an offshoot from the many other symptoms that cause this lack of appetite and in turn, weight loss. Due to the nature of leukemia, and the weight presents itself, weightless can often be one of the first outward visible signs of the disease. As a rule, it is worth remembering that it is quite abnormal to lose more than 1 to 2 pounds a week, especially when not trying. If you, or someone you love notices this, it might be worth a trip to the doctor. 7. Fatigue As mentioned earlier, the body, when it's healthy, is like a well-oiled, top-performing machine. One of the most impressive functions of the human body can be found in red blood cells and their ability to distribute oxygen to all other cells throughout the body. However, with leukemia, red blood cells become depleted and thus, the body is not supplied with the proper amount of oxygen it needs to perform at peak levels. This causes extreme lethargy, fatigue and overall weakness in those suffering, known as anemia. It is important to remember that anemia is not a sign, in and of itself, of a serious disorder, but it should be the cause for a trip to the doctor to investigate further. 8. Frequent Urination The human body is capable of some pretty spectacular feats, and many of these happen on a regular basis without us even noticing. A prime example of this is our body's ability to fight of bacterial and viral infections. Urination is another great example, as it is a means that waste from the blood is expelled. However, when the body isn't working properly, let's say due to the presence of cancer cells, then systems in the body, including urination, start to act up. If you think you have a clean bill of health and yet find yourself having to use the bathroom more often than normal, it should be a source of concern as leukemia affects white blood cells, which is the body's means of warding off infection. joint or bone pain. While leukemia is quite literally cancer of the blood, it is important to remember the focal point of the ailment and where it begins, the bones. More specifically, the long bones found in the body, and further to the point, the bone marrow found inside where blood cells are created from stem cells. One does not need a medical degree to see the connection between the formation of cancerous blood cells in the bones and the destruction of healthy ones. This hindrance on the healthy cells may cause your joints and bones to become achy and more painful even in rest as the cancer progresses. 10. Headaches Our bodies are all about balance, as it is through this interworking of networks that allows us to not only function but flourish. However, when one part of the body stops working properly, other parts work double time and try to compensate. As leukemia in most cases affects the production of white blood cells, the fact that they are abnormal and don't function properly causes the body to try and produce more. This excess of white blood cells can obstruct the tiny blood vessels in the brain, which cause some patients to report frequent headaches. As it is easy to imagine, this symptom often gets overlooked in its association with leukemia, which is why it's so important to view these symptoms collectively to help give you a more complete picture of your body and its state of health. Please note, the content provided below and elsewhere on this video is not intended nor should it be construed as providing professional medical or nutritional advice. Do not rely on information provided on this video for your health problems. Instead, consult a qualified medical professional for advice. Warning signs of poor blood circulation. Good blood circulation is essential for good health. Your blood helps transport nutrients and oxygen to every part of your body. Any problem with your circulatory system can lead to a variety of other health issues. If left untreated, it can cause serious damage to your brain, heart, liver, kidneys and limbs. People often ignore the warning signs of poor blood circulation, until the problem becomes severe. 
it is important to be aware of these signs as addressing the problem early can save you from future complications. If you have multiple signs and symptoms of poor blood circulation, ask your doctor to check your health levels and get the best treatment for poor blood circulation. Here are the early warning signs of poor blood circulation. 1. Cold hands and feet. One of the first problems that you'll notice is that your hands and feet are constantly cold. While in the winter you may expect it, you will feel cold during the summer months. This is because your oxygenated blood isn't reaching your hands and feet. It's very common for us to see the fingers and toes turn white. If you push on the areas, you may find that they take longer to get some coloring back. This is a sign that the blood flow isn't there. It's the blood that helps to heat up the areas, so the more you lose, the colder your hands and feet will feel. This coldness will be difficult to get rid of. You could wear gloves, and you will still experience it. It's not that your body is cold but that your blood isn't reaching the areas to help warm them up. Watch out for artificially warming your hands and feet up. You may get rid of the symptoms temporarily, but you won't get rid of the actual problem. It's tempting to keep putting your hands in warm water, but you could actually do harm to your skin. The cold sensations can continue around your body.